Welcome to the first episode of Masters of the Box, where we mix role playing with live action. Uh, before we get going, I'd like to introduce everybody. First, myself, I am your dungeon master today, Kevin Drury. During the day, I uh, work as a uh, a networking and server engineer. But in the evenings and for several years now, since the mid-90s, I've been running Dungeons & Dragons. I've had several games that have lasted over three years, and hopefully this will be one of the ones I can add to that list. And from there, we'll start with our players with Jason. Hello, I'm Jason Francis. Uh, I am a house husband and Lyft driver. I've been playing D&D since the time that Elf was a class. Okay, and what do you play, Jason? I'm playing Orsinius the Cleric. Uh, healer and uh, slightly arrogant individual. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kelsey Murphy, and I've been playing D&D for about six or seven months. Uh, I work in healthcare, and I play Blogdor, and he is a dwarf soldier, and he's a rough and rowdy boy. I'm Eddie. I'm a former teacher and a full-time dad and husband. Um, I'm playing Aleph, the Wood Elf Noble Ranger, uh, who's a little too full of himself. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. I'm Heather. I'm a physician assistant providing medical care during the day. At night, I switch over to the fantasy world where I get to play Aoife, a mysterious half-human, half-elf rogue. Hey, I'm Aaron Hagman. I, uh, I play Jin, the monk. I am uh, uh, in healthcare uh, as well, and um, I'm super excited to get started here. I've been playing D&D since the release of 5e. All right, with that, let's get into this. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 The party received a letter asking them to meet one Skurlock pal at the Green Dragon Inn regarding important business for the province. Not much more is stated than that, and with that, we join our party outside the Green Dragon. Anybody know what he looks like? <laughs> I've never heard of this person. All I've ever heard was the letter that we received. Do you, any of you know this person? No idea. I'm just here for the beer. Like. Well, that's a given, Blog Door. Let's, let's proceed in and see if we can't figure out what's going on. You guys enter the uh, Green Dragon. As you walk in, uh, the, the inn is uh, somewhat busy. Joseph, the owner and proprietor behind the bar, just simply motions you to the back room where your contact is ostentatiously waiting. You notice a not moderately dressed, a uh, 50 year old elder human sitting at the table with two guards posted at the room. As soon as you walk in, he seems to notice you and immediately uh, beckons you to have a seat and he, uh, he looks rather welcoming. I think we found him. Mr. Uh, Powell, I presume. Yes, um, so if you'll have a seat, uh, as again, I, I am Skurlock Powell. I am the first advisor to His Excellency Morlane von Detrol, Marquis of Dalamore Province. As to why I summoned you here, it's important that we meet away from the Marquis's residence. His Excellency wishes to not unduly alarm the populace about certain events, and your presence at his home would alert certain malcontents that you're here on his business. This way, the folks simply believe you're doing some work for me. This will be a little bit of a tale. Beginning a little over a year ago, Dalamore has seen an influx of cultists. We thought little of it for the longest time. Outlying provinces such as ours often become the destination of nuisance elements of society who wish to practice their 
and juvenile pastimes. Most pass through town quickly. We think to congregate out in ancient ruins down in the forest south from here. Now, however, we fear they may be behind the recent issues with all the animals fleeing the province. Our biggest problem, however, is this rabble that call themselves the Order of the Restless Scourge. This bunch wants to see the rightful aristocracy overthrown, and for a while, they try to reuse these idiot cultists as a tool. The Scourge claims that the cultists are a bona fide threat to civilization and that the Marquis and his peers are doing nothing about it. Well, we may be provincial, but we're not stupid in these parts. Initially, people weren't buying into the Scourge's story, and we didn't really consider them more than a nuisance. However, with all the strangers surrounding all the game and livestock disappearing, they have started gaining the attention of the common folk. And then His Excellency's daughter vanished. Stolen right from her bedroom. She does appear to have put up a fight, but they must have subdued her quickly. The house guard were never alerted, and her personal guards appear to have been slain and their bodies taken. A local tracker caught the trail the following morning down to the abandoned mill road to the edge of the True Falk Forest, but he was set upon by some brigands and barely, barely made it back alive. So to business. His Excellency requests that you venture through the True Folk. Please track down these, those responsible and bring back his daughter Elizabeth. If you deal with those responsible, please do if you can, but her survival is paramount. What have we heard about this cult? Uh, the, you haven't heard anything about this cult in speci uh, specifically. You know that you've dealt with the recent spider cult that you guys had to deal with. Uh, this one in particular, you, you don't know anything about. Please, no more spiders. <laughs> this does seem to be a noble quest that you are requesting our assistance with, but it would be remiss of me to not discuss remuneration. Cash. The Marquise is a very well-to-do and influential individual. I'm sure, you could, as you can imagine, he'd be more than happy to grant you uh, a due reward and his favor, which some would view as worth more than most sums of cash. She... <laughs> we are repaying society with the life of his daughter. We do not need such monetary reward. Okay, you, d you don't need. You don't need. I need. I need because things cost money, like goods and services. I, I enjoy partaking in those. I need money. I can take yours. Normally, Orsinius handles my funds. <laughs> yeah, I bet you His do. favor would be quite welcome, but in order to properly motivate uh, my associates, we would need to speak in, in hard terms. He, he writes down a, a, num, a, a sum on a piece of paper and he slides it over to you. It's substantial. I think that will uh, cover our uh, requirements. Aoife has been standing in the back and peers over his shoulder. She also perked up when he said something about favor. So, do, do, you, have any other, do you have any further questions? Could we have an upfront for some... Uh, expenses along the way? Sadly, he, I am not equipped with any funds on me at the moment, but... We're wasting time. His daughter is in peril. Where's this tracker? The tracker is currently recovering. Uh, he, 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 followed the, he followed them to, down the, the uh, southern road to the True Falk Forest, which I'm sure you're aware is uh, host to numerous uh, superstitions, some with and without merit, which is why most, we're, most individuals that... Uh, who live here will not venture into that forest. Yes, I'm, I'm familiar with the area. Um, I don't believe we need to speak with the tracker. I think we should just make our way as quickly as possible. Fair enough. I like the way you think. Then we shall proceed with all due haste. Oh, please do, and again, please Brett, make sure his daughter comes back safely. We will do our utmost. I agree. At that point, um, you guys, I take it, just begin to head out. As you leave the inn, you, I mean, you are uh, confronted by a uh, much younger individual. Uh, he's a just young looking human, moderately dressed, and he has a red armband around his shoulder. Does that mean anything to us? Well, that, uh, 
It, uh, as, as far as we, as far as what, what's going on right now, no, that doesn't mean doesn't set off anything. Actually, a roll a uh, is there a local history? There, there's just history. History, roll history. Twenty. I'm, I'm a Oh, what does Blagdor know about history? I know. <laughs> you learn quite a bit by, uh, <laughs> by, by drinking and carousing. That is the trademark of the, uh, of the Restless Scourge. They wear those to, as, as a, to demarcate their membership. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Uh, excuse me. My name is uh, Cadlaw, Cadlaw Shire. I know who you just met with, and I just, I need you to know that you should question everything you just heard and question everything you see. Well, I'm questioning you right now. What is this about? Uh, and as, as you look at him, he, he kind of takes a step back and he starts fiddling. He has a yellow ring on, his, on one of his fingers. It actually looks like it's made of feathers. Uh, well, uh, let's just say I have a vested interest in, in uh, Elizabeth and not everyone around her in her life is to be trusted. But wait, 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 wait. So what makes you trustworthy? Because you just showed up out of fucking nowhere. And um, I don't know, you look real suspicious, bud. Uh, so, I mean, like, you know where she is? You give us, like, a head start? Like... I, I do not know. I'm just trying to give you fair warning. Okay, so nothing. Great. Fantastic. <sighs> okay, so again, you're saying not trust everybody. Congratulations, we already don't do that. <laughs> what, what, what do you want us to do? What's different, you want us to find Elizabeth. What's different from the other man? Let's just say I'm, I've told you everything. Not knowing that I can trust you or not, I'm just trying to make sure you're keeping your ears open. Very well. This has not at all been a waste of time. <laughs> Great, all right, let's head on. And he quickly makes an exit, so. Again, history, perception, do feather rings mean anything to any of us in fiddling no. with that? In fact, in fact, that's why it stands out so much. It's okay. not, some, not something you've ever seen before. Mm. So this is going to take you down the southern road. The, the, it's going to take better part of a day to get to just to the True Falk Forest. Uh, again, the, the road in the south is, you know, cleverly named the southern road. Uh, you have been through this area before. Near the entrance to the True Falk, there is an abandoned mill, which you know is a common ca campsite. As you as you continue on the way, a youngish human is you find him blazing on the side of the road. Wait, like 420 blaze it or like blazing. blaze? Oh, blaze! Okay. Like what are you talking about? As in laying about lazily. Blazing. Yes. Got it. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, hey. Uh, fel fine fellows, uh, perhaps you could uh, assist me. With what? I am, uh, I'm a bit lost. I, uh, I was meant to meet someone uh, uh, near the, near, near the, near the, on the southern road, near the end of it, and I, um, I'm afraid I am a bit useless in the wilderness. The instructions were southern road at the end of it. I think you have your directions. Excuse us. The road does only go the, the two ways. Well, yes, but, okay, let me just, with all the going on lately, I hear some, I'm a little bit nervous about going to the, the forest. You seem rather well equipped, perhaps I could tarry along with you? Um, you got any cash? I, I don't think that's the issue. <laughs> uh, I, who are you? Yes, why <laughs> should we let you follow us? Oh, the name is Turkle. I'm sorry, what? Turkle. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Turkle. We're all snickering. We're all like hiding our snickers in the back. I'm gonna try and read his intent with uh, insight. That's uh, a 12. 12? He seems genuinely frightened. Uh, what, what manner of business do you have? Well, that's between me and them. Let's just say they have some goods that I wish to procure and it's better done outside of town. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> I agree. You know what, Turk? You seem like you're on your way and we're just gonna go. Like, good luck with your drug pushing. It's, 
sounds very enterprising young man, but we gots to go. You're sure there's nothing I can do to convince you to allow me to go with? I, I'm sure there are things you can do to convince us. Are there? Can you enlighten us? <laughs> he kind of gathers himself together. Like, uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> I believe my associate is saying that there could possibly be ways, but it's not, we're not beholden to tell you what they are. I have a few silver I could pay to, to, for you to guard me. I feel like we have wasted enough time on nosy young humans today. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're going to have to find your own way along this rather simple way. Well, so be it then. Uh, well, hopefully on your way back, you don't come across my, you know, not upon or beaten corpse. Uh, wait, have you seen anything this way? Wait, were you here last night? I, well, How no, long have you been here? A few hours. Hmm. Have you seen anyone coming down the road ahead of us? Bright red bands. Well, I don't necessarily had feel a woman with the, them? The, I don't feel in the mood to, to, to share with you now, given the. Uh, okay, well, listen, <sighs> listen, Turk. You're either with us or you're not with us. Well, if I'm so, with you. If I'm with you, I'll, I'll be happy to tell you who and what I may or may not have seen. Oh my goodness. If, if you'll agree to take the... Look, it's not looking real good for you, Turk. Fine, <laughs> look, like... start walking. You all talk and talk and talk and talk. You can only milk a dead cow once. What? And I start walking. I do not understand that expression. <laughs> I don't think you want to milk it even once. No. Okay, fine. Walk and talk, Turk. Okay. And he starts, he starts walking with you, he waits a few minutes, like, well, I am sorry to say that I haven't seen much. Oh my god. Okay, bye. <sighs> well, surely you can't, surely you, you can't be, you can't uh, object to me just walking along with you. I mean, we can't I mean, it's free stop country. You. We <laughs> won't stop you, we could definitely stop you. We're, true, we could, <laughs> we won't. Well spoken. <laughs> it is an open road. Well, since we're walking together, perhaps, you seem like interesting folks, perhaps. What, what, have you, what have you accomplished in the... What is this, a fucking job interview? Like, what the hell? Like, you, you come in here, you're like, oh, take me to this place so I can give my drugs. And also, can you give me, like, your five most recent quests that you did? Where do you see yourself in ten years? No one spoke anything of drugs. I, he starts looking at the rest of you, like, pleadingly. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to forgive our associate. He's... Or don't. <laughs> Slightly one track. I, yes, and that track seems to go back to the axe. Um, well, plan A does stand for axe. We're very good at what we do, and we can do anything, so. Well then, uh, yeah, I will just, uh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, it's not drugs. That would be improper. And what just, is your purpose here? I just, to, uh, again, uh, get these goods I'm here to get. So if you're going to be so... Cagey? Mm, sketchy about how you describe them, we're going to assume that they're going to be something oh, illegal. He's not an artist. Oh, Jim. I don't understand. He means suspicious. Oh. Well, fine. It's... It's poached game. That there's, you, know, you, know how, you know how rare it is these days to find a... Uh, find any kind of wild food. Meat in general, and ever since all the, all, the, all the beasts have gone mad and or ran off. Oh, it's food? Oh. Okay, fine. All right. I don't understand why you were being so weird about it. Yeah, like, well, it's food. Well, it commands a rather high price right now, so. Okay, more to pay us with later if we take you safe. <laughs> uh, you did say poached, though. No, no. I, I, allegedly. He means like the cooking method, like poached eggs, like is this poached meat. Like. Oh, I've been meaning to try that. I see. I'm fairly certain that's not true. Okay. What? Who do I believe? Don't worry about it, Jim. Well, he accompanies you in a uh, quiet, intimidated silence for a while. After several hours, uh, I don't suppose we could take a, a quick rest. My, my legs are quite tired. Lord. <sighs> Team? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you've been resting by the side of the road for 
most of the day and your legs are already tired. I am not meant for the outdoors. That is obvious. <laughs> Fine, three minutes. Okay. If you, you know, as everybody kind of, you know, rests around, he, if you excuse me, I'll have to uh, relieve myself. And no, you... no, no, wait, wait, wait. Someone go with him. I'm not, but someone watch Close. him. Close. You... I'll go. Me and Karen go. I assure you, while I am not of the, of the wilderness, I am capable of doing this on my own. I believe you, but I don't know who you're going to go get. Karen's going to watch you. Me and Karen are going to go. We're going to take a bathroom break. We're all going to go. It's be fine. Let's go. We could just leave while he's peeing. <laughs> and then after about an awkward two or three minutes with him constantly just... Uh... He's got performance anxiety. It happens. Yeah. He does quick, and then he comes back. Oh, okay, I guess we can continue. Oh, thank you for your permission, ass. <laughs> One can get the impression they're not wanted. Um, because you're not. Okay. Now, were you saying something you heard? You were. When did you say you had heard, Turkle? You know, as we're continuing to walk, we're slightly. Well, that there, there's strange going abouts in the woods. Uh, cultists and fey creatures. Well, that those are old stories, though. But yeah. Well, the, the cultists sound pretty recent. Well, that yes, that's. Uh, but they disappear into the forest and they never come back. Which either means they're gathered down there or being devoured by some strange creatures. Weren't the cultists a problem? That sounds like a problem solved well, to me. Well, they, they weren't really a problem. They just, they'd come through town, buy some provisions, and then move on. Might be the hungry owlbears. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry? Um, are, you, are, you, are you insinuating that the, the owlbears are cultists? No. That'd be pretty tight, though. That would be funny. <laughs> we, we, we've come across some rather malnourished owlbears. We put him out of their misery, though. I'm and sorry. he looks, take, he takes a step back, like, uh, you, you said owlbear is plural. It was a mom and some cubs. We, we, we took care of them. Oh, we ruthlessly murdered the pups as well. No, uh, we put them out of their misery. They were very hungry. He, he actually looks less surprised. He actually looks intimidated and he's going a little pale. Well, it's okay. You don't look malnourished. We don't have to put you out of misery. <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 had a, I had quite the hearty breakfast. Uh, excuse me, I, I feel the need to relieve myself again. Uh, one one God moment. God damn it. Me and Karen got to no, go with you again. I, I, please, I didn't get to go properly last time because of your involvement. <laughs> I mean, involvement's a very strong verb for what happened. Like, I don't want anybody getting the wrong idea. It was more like supervision than it was involvement. Okay, just wanted to make sure everybody's on the same page. Can we sense his motives with this? Yeah, what do we, what's our impression here? No, just a seven. Insight. He's got a pee. Uh, <laughs> 18. 13, yeah. 18, uh, there's definitely a change. He is, he is suddenly kind of afraid of you and he, you, you, you get the sense he wants to be away, and he may not actually—he may not actually have to go to the bathroom. If it, but if he does, it, given how frightened he looks, it may be involuntary. <laughs> well, that sounds great because we also want him away. So, problem hey, solved. Hey, wait! Before you go to the bathroom, um, uh, uh, <laughs> can fine. I not wait to after? Um, so, do you do you know anything about the um, the scourge, the restless scourge? Uh, some mount, uh, the, some rabble rousers around town that trying to overthrow the aristocracy. Let the useless baby go to the bathroom <laughs> so we can leave. <sighs> Fine. You're quite an unpleasant fellow. I mean, he grows on you. And he <laughs> wanders off to the bath. He wanders off, and you can hear after a few after a few steps, the steps turn into running <laughs> through the undergrowth. He seemed nice. <laughs> and he doesn't come back. Oh, good riddance. You don't think he's going to go get anybody to mess us up, do you? I mean, his name's Turkle. If they're all as competent as him, I figure it will be a brief workout.
Let's take a moment to thank all the wonderful people that uh, made it possible for all of us to be here together. I'll start off with Forged Foam. All the weapons you see here were made by a small company out of central Illinois. Been crafting these weapons for 25 years. They're very active in uh, sports such as Bellagarth, Dagger here, and SCA. All their gear is made mostly with number two foam, number should be two pound foam, and a four pound foam in key structures. So when it's not hurting you, it's not hurting the weapon either. Uh, next we'll go to Jason, who will talk about the people who brought us these drinks and uh, the glasses and mugs. You know, that would be the Green Dragon Public House, uh, located in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It's a Lord of the Rings themed British style pub. Uh, it's four years old. I've actually been there. It's a great experience to eat at. They have uh, great food. Uh, they brew their own beers, uh, including a California style IPA. Uh, it's family friendly and with a kids play area. You can find them on Facebook at Green Dragon Pub and Brewery. And over to Kelsey. All right, we would like to thank the law offices of Sean Lewis. They um, specialize in auto accident, citizenship, and immigration law. They are a global boutique law firm solely dedicated to the private practice of immigration and nationality law. They have offices in Nashville, Memphis, Chattanooga, and Knoxville. And you can visit their Facebook page at Music City Visa or their website at www.immigrationnewsnetwork.com. Dizzy Pixie Crafts Online Etsy Shop. Their goal is to provide you a beautiful wand and their wands are ready to swish and flick. All wands are handmade. Dizzy Pixie Crafts makes any kind of wand from very simple designs to very ornate wands incorporating stone, natural items, and scent. Dizzy Pixie Crafts loves to make unusual wands that you don't typically see on craft sites. Visit them on Etsy. If, if you continue on then, the rest of the day goes by uneventfully and as the evening comes, they approach the old, the old, the old mill. And again, this is normally where, you, this is a, a pretty common resting area, so. And I'm, I'm familiar with this area, yes. right, you're saying, okay. This is essentially your last good place to stop before going into the True Falk, which is much more untamed wilderness. All right, well, so, um, friends, uh, up ahead, there's an abandoned mill that would be a good place to camp for the night before we head into the forest proper. Uh, wait here. I will scout ahead, make sure it's not uh, occupied. If it is, we may need to come up with an alternate plan. All right, we'll stand here and look around. Stealth forward. Stealth forward, all right, give stealth stealth roll. Mm -hmm. Uh, 22. He, after a few steps, he just seems to disappear in the undergrowth. Uh, so you, you go there. Uh, the, it's, it's abandoned as, you, as usual, uh, at least uh, from the outside. And you, again, there's no front door on or anything like that. No so. like lights or smoke or anything like that. So, okay. Well, I will scooch back to these guys. and It seems all clear. <laughs> so <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I will. <laughs> But anyway, it, it, it's clear. We, we should be all right. All right, let's proceed to the camp then. Right. Set up camp, all right. You notice that there is this 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 place has been used rather rather recently. Okay. As within perhaps the next the, the, the previous day or so. Okay. It's like campfire so, ashes or well, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Uh, actually, more the campfire has been made to look like it was not there, but the, as far as like you know. <laughs> they didn't do a good job. Ooh, so somebody okay. Somebody made an attempt to. So, so somebody hide. has been here but wanted it to look like they were not. Correct. Mm. Interesting. The plot thickens. Well, we should set watch. Hmm, I agree. Well, obviously. Um, Is it? Yes. Yes, Jen. Thank um, you for your suggestion. I'll, I'll take the first watch. I don't sleep. <laughs> and, while, and while they're, uh, you know, working out watches, uh, Orsinius uh, pulls out something new. He's bought himself a tent. You bought a tent? Yes. Didn't, didn't you use your... Gained gold uh, creatively? No, I sleep under the stars like God intended. 
because I'm also not a delicate baby that needs a roof over my head all the time. I thought we were just going to stay in the abandoned mill. That is also a very good use of resources. I did not think of that. Solus doesn't deal with stars. I don't know what you're speaking of the god for in that, in that respect. Okay, yeah, this again. All right. Okay, great. Another four-hour sermon about Mr. Mr. Happy Sunshine. Okay, whatever. All right. Uh, if you just open your mind. Guys, I miss Turk. I'm a, I'm a little worried about that wimp. I don't know what he's gone off to do. Uh, I have nothing to worry about. What a shrimp. No, I'm, I'm not worried about him hurting us, Jen. I'm worried about who he's going to go get. I'm sure it won't bite us in the ass in about, I don't know, four or five encounters. God, our, our party's personality is so... We're very, we're very, uh, we talked about that gatekeeping. We're very gatekeeping. So like, no, say, I would say you can't play with us. You can't sit with us. Now, I will say, this guy wanted us to, like, come around and, like, protect him. And then he wants my damn resume? <laughs> Bitch, you asked me to come. Like, what are you talking about? It, 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 is, it is a little sketch to be like, oh, yes, I'm, I'm just randomly sitting by the side of the road to accost, you know, random yeah. people to escort oh, I me. Oh, you. Oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Do you? Do you have to go to the bathroom? You have to go alert your whole team to ambush us. 